So today I want to talk to you guys about wear and tear on the Ampron with Louis Vuitton. You guys have asked for this before. There was actually one person in particular who reached out to me here in the comments below on a previous video and said, I'm really on the fence. This is what I'm needing from you. Can you give me this video? Absolutely. A couple of you guys have also reached out on Instagram and have asked me several questions about wear and tear. So when you guys asked me last week, I need this video done. We're making this video today. I'm bringing it to you now because I think it is becoming more popular, especially with these price increases that Louis Vuitton has done. They've really made you look at, okay, if I'm spending this much money, is it worth it for me to just go buy the Emprunt? The monogram has become so popular. I think that's just been a, a big conversation and a big topic for a lot of you guys, especially when you're first coming in to luxury pieces. You're kind of weighing the pros, cons. Is it worth the money? Is it not worth the money? Is it holding up better? What is making this the bigger price? So I want to go ahead and show you guys my two most used of all time Louis Vuitton pieces besides my six key holder. My six key holder I had for I would say three or four years before. I don't ever exactly remember, but it's a couple of years, at least a few years longer than I had one of these other pieces. I think you guys already know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about my rectal wallet. Again, you guys know I talk about my rectal wallet all the time, but honestly, you guys, it's worth the money. It is by far. If you guys did not see my previous videos on me talking about why I think it's such a great item, I'll go ahead and link it down below. I'm sure you guys have seen it. It's, it's a favorite, it's it's my favorite. And then also, I wanted to bring you guys a bag. I have the Pochette Matisse also in the on Prawn. I don't use it as much as I use my backpack. So I use these guys religiously. I use them more than any other SLG or bag of luxury items that I've ever had. So I thought this would be perfect for me to show you guys these. I do also want to talk about cleaning, how I like to kind of keep my bags fresh. I tend to spill things a lot. I have little kids who are always, you know, hurrying, rushing to get to the next thing. So I always try and keep them fresh and clean. I want to show you guys what I use. So I've talked to you guys about it before. I've kind of mentioned it here and there. I use water wipes. I've already went ahead and like wiped all of them down. I'm trying to do, I'm being very conscious of the germs lately. I think we all are. So I'm trying to actually clean my bags more often and all I'm doing with them is using the water wipes. These are my savior. I don't worry. I don't trust a lot of other brands. I trust this one though. I picked this up at Target. I'll link it down below. And basically what I do is I just take a wipe. It's like a baby wipe. Here, I'll open one up so you guys can see and try not to pull out like 10 of them. It's just like a, like a nice baby wipe. That's basically what they're for. And see here, they're just a little baby wipe. And what I do I'll grab my rectal wallet here. What I do is I just kind of wipe it all down. I go ahead and wipe it all down. I make sure I take everything out. I clean inside the pockets here. I get the zippers. I kind of get everything and just wipe it down as much as I need to. And it, it just helps. They're never like disgusting, but I mean, it's kind of gross of like our debit cards and all of our stuff and the germs we put these. I couldn't even tell you how many places this has been. This has been by ride or die. I bring this everywhere. So that's why I try and keep them clean. So the, the water wipes, I trust them. I think it works. I will say though, if you have a little bit of Tina on the Vaquetta that you're trying to like even out if you got like a water spot, this is also what I recommend. Keep in mind, it is a liquid, so it is going to darken it. So be prepared for all of that. It's The Vaquetta is an untreated leather. So it's like raw and exposed, like brand new leather. Untreated, non-protected, all of that. So kind of keep that in mind. This will help even it out and keep it clean. But I don't do it all the time on that. Like I like never do it on that because I don't want it to patina too fast. So just a little note. I would like to say that I've had one longer than the other, but I really haven't. I literally bought these the same day. One had to get ordered, one had to get home with me, taken home with me. But so this was available in store and I didn't know what I wanted and I'm like, you know, was talking to my essay and I'm like, what do I get? She showed me this and I'm like, oof, it's a little higher for such a small, wallet such a small slg love it you guys already like i said if you guys haven't seen that video of why i think it's worth it and everything i'll link it down below but 
I have noticed very little wear and tear with this. Very, very little. The first thing I noticed is that it's pouchier, right? Like it's a little poofier because that it's such a good leather, it stretches, right? So I have noticed that like, I don't keep a lot in here. I mean, well, I shouldn't say that. You guys have seen the videos. I do put a lot in here. But not to where it's like distressing on or it's like um, hard on the zipper. But I notice a little, it's a little pouchier. We used to be more tighter and more compact. Now it's a little pouchier. The other thing that I've noticed that has been a wear and tear, and we're getting picky here, you guys, is you can see like the little card slots. I don't know if you guys can see that. See how they've stretched out a little bit? And then you can even see that indent right here. I have, it holds eight cards. I put, well, I put two cards per slot. So two, 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 right? So I put two in there each and it's fine. That does not bother me. The leather still looks really good. You can kind of see through here. You can see a little bit, but it's not tearing. It's just stretched out for room for those cards. And it's up to your discretion of how many cards you want to put. If you only did one little card, it wouldn't stretch as much but for me like i have a list of things that i always need with me because otherwise what's the point of this right i need to have certain things with me all the time when i get pulled over and i don't have my driver's license this helps with that so i always have that and then the other thing i noticed too this has not stretched as much and this has stayed pretty tight and i think it's because i don't use this as much if i have something extremely important that i'm terrified of losing i put it in here or if like i can't forget it i put it in there so i like that um let's go ahead and look at zippers zippers are fine there it works better when there's actually stuff in here so i kind of puff it out a little bit fine same with here fine I do see tiny little scratches on the zipper here it's gonna be really hard to see do you see those like tiny little scratches Harley is right by my feet here and he's shaking the camera okay we're just gonna put him on the lap because he keeps hitting the camera so yes can you can you see him He's doing well. I'll give you guys a Harley update. He is doing well. We're still no coning. We are taking, this is what he wants. We are taking Zyrtec twice a day, or um, he takes like two pills of Zyrtec every day. Um, and I think it's helping. Ear infection's gone. Licking is still really bad, but these are kind of like the worst months. Dude, you are like up in my jam today and I got stuff to do. Yes but he's doing great. I know you guys love him. Um, I'm not gonna get anything done when he's like this. See how he like holds my arms? He's the best cuddler ever. He's the best dog. Okay, you can sit on my lap, but you just, you gotta get smaller. Let's try this again. At least we won't have shaking, but he's still right here. Okay, so the other thing that I noticed too, we talked about the zipper, we talked about the pouchiness, everything else has been kind of fine. Oh, let's talk about the snaps, okay? So this snap is typically will wear more than any other snap. I've noticed that with my 6Q holder, other purses and everything, you can see it's, you can see it's brighter gold here, but not as much here. It's going to be really hard to see on camera. And you see the tiny little scratches. So I am anticipating that I will have to replace that at some point in time. But really to the naked eye, I'm really not seeing anything. So I'm going to leave it alone. Um, the zipper is fine. Let's look at the the little hook here. I kind of pre-looked at everything really quick and I didn't see anything. I just wanna double check again. Of course, there's like the few scratches and that just from, I mean, a key sits on here all day, you know, and shakes around and everything. But that looks honestly really good. Like even in like the inside here, looks really good. Still opens and closes really nice. I don't even see like any see a little bit of like wear like that darkness fine but yeah mainly just like scratching which is I mean I use this like you have to understand how much like you guys I'm sure you guys have little kids and you guys know or you might be dog moms and you have puppies it's a hustle all right we're mother hustlers so we got to get stuff done and we're moving so the other thing let me put this back 
The, I want to talk to you guys about leather and then we'll talk about glazing. I know glazing is a big one. Okay, so the inside here, it is the pebble leather. I think that's what that's called, pebble leather, and it's fine. Even the stamping in that is 100% fine. The other, the biggest thing I think, so I talked to my SA2, I text her and I'm like, all right, I'm doing this video. What are like some problems that you see? And it was the basically the same thing. And she said, the older the on prong gets and like the really old stuff, it gets shinier. Like, so it's like an oil kind of like sheen, I think that happens with it. And the embossing gets less embossed. It's not as noticeable. So if you look right now, it's very pronounced. So I think as it gets older, I presume in like five to seven years, we're talking here, it's gonna look a little shinier and not as pronounced, but you can see. It's all still very pronounced. It's all, hasn't really worn, nothing. And I like the contrast, along with my backpack, I like the contrast of you know, the pebble leather and then embossed leather. I think that contrast is nice because if it was all the embossed or all the pebble, that looks basic. And I don't do basic. So I like the contrast, I like that little extra. Another reason why I love this, but it, I think it helps with the aging. Dude's like staring me down here. I like how it will soften like the aging process. It's not as much that's going to be as worn. You know what I mean? Like I don't feel like the embossing is going to be as pronounced because there's more pebble on different areas. So I think the wear is just going to be better. I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. Um, the other thing is, is the glazing. I want to show you how good this glazing is. Okay. So the first part, and usually is the worst part, is like on the crease right here. So that's where I want you guys to be kind of looking and seeing perfectly fine. Look on farther down the sides, on the flap here. Looks totally fine. I literally, like it's really hard for me to say that I see some things on here because I really don't. Like I, and comment down below if you guys see things that I don't see because I ain't seeing it. <laughs> I'm just not seeing a whole lot. And I know I've had it for over a year and I am hard on my things. I tell you guys that all the time, but like, it looks good, like, right? Like it still looks like really good. To me, I don't know, besides the metal and besides the stretching right here, but that's any kind of leather, I don't see any wearing. I, I don't so I'm super happy I think if this is any indication of years to come like I'm good okay so the other so we've seen an SLG so let's look at a bag now okay so I already went ahead and wiped it all down I'm kind of like re fluffing it for you guys so it looks pretty and this dog is like right in my way do you see him he's like right here he thinks I'm gonna move him okay so the next thing is the bag and it looks great. I mean, you can tell it looks really nice and shiny and clean and stuff like that. It's this also I just cleaned too. Right before I did the video, I cleaned it all up and everything because I feel like I should take these extra steps and I don't. We're gonna work on that. Okay, so again with the embossed leather and the pebble leather, I this is beautiful, has had no problems. I know one of you guys on my Instagram talked to me. She was on the fence about buying this bag for a long time and she bought hers and when she and she bought it online and when she got it she saw strange little wrinkles on here i looked on mine and i was like sending her pictures of mine and hers and i did see it was like some creases it was a little different um but i know louis vuitton replaced it for her no problem um everything else has been really fine i love this then smooth letter just those contrasts look so nice can you see that there we go. Doesn't that look so nice with the pebble and then like the smooth soft leather and then like the embossed leather? I just think that looks really nice. It's the details. All of that looks perfect. Still no scratching. The stitching and everything looks great. Okay, let's look on the inside. No problems. It's that black suede. Okay, that is been another topic. Everybody has been like not the happiest with the black interior. Okay. I'm gonna say one thing to a girl that 
um, I don't have any staining in my bags, okay? So I don't even know if this is a factor, but I've looked at Fashion File a lot lately. I'm on the hunt. I've looked at Fashion File a lot lately, and I've looked inside other... I really want a Gucci bag. I, I've been looking at some Gucci bags, and the problems with them is the liner, and it's like that linen-y liner, right? I don't know why it's shaking. Anyways, the, the liner is a make or break, so that has held me back from buying a um, Gucci bag for a long time. So that's a white linen and this is a black suede. So it is totally opposite ends of the spectrum. But what I'm trying to say here is that like, it's not going to, like you don't have to worry, right? It's like having black leather interior in your car. Like, hello, like everybody would love that white, beautiful leather, but this is a backpack and we have, sorry, and we have children and um, I spill. That's just me. So I, the more I've talked with you guys on Instagram, the more I have come to appreciate it. That's just, I do I wish they would have done the cobalt blue? Absolutely. I loved, love, love that with a black ombron. I think it's gorgeous. Why they didn't do that, I don't know. I think they were kind of, seeing who likes it, seeing who doesn't. I don't know, that's just my theory. I I would have liked the blue, but like if it was someone like my mom, no. She likes the pink and the red, like the peony and the cherry, I think it is. She likes those, those are great. Um, but the black, I think she would still prefer the black over the cobalt, so I don't know. Everybody has their own opinion. I've actually, I didn't like it at first because I'm like, this is a black hole and I can't find anything. Because look at, like, even when you guys look in here, it's a black hole. But I've really grown to like it. But the suede bomb has had no problems. I took a flashlight in here to really see the pocket and everything. Hasn't really been stretched. It's been fine. Um, the little tag in here, that's been fine. The, let's look at the glazing. So it, this bag has a lot of glazing. So it has a lot on the top. And it's going to be really hard for me to show you. So the suede, it's like two layers. So there's the suede has a layer and then it's the glazing. Can you guys see that? Okay, so see that little bit of suede and then the glazing. So it's like thicker, right? So that I looked all the way around here. I'm double checking again and it's been fine. Even on these seams, those are fine. Let's see if that'll focus. There we go. That looks great. So all of that's been fine. And I think it also makes a difference that this is like a wavy and it's not such a hard crease. So I think those will be great. This does twist sometimes, but it you untwist it if you have a problem. If you can't get it untwisted, bring it to the boutique. They'll take care of it. They do it all the time. Um, this kind of catches things in here, like crumbs and that, but that's been fine. Okay, the snap. I did notice some on the snap, but this is, again, it's like the scratches on the metal. It's the exact same thing. Same thing. So you can kind of see that ring aware, but this snap is no joke. It is like legit good snap. Let me show you this part of the snap. So see that? It's not fading or anything, but it's scratched. It's scratched a good amount. You don't see it because the snap, like it covers the whole thing because it's got like a faux latch faux buckle and see it's gonna it's gonna it's a really strong snap it's gonna kind of grab anything so that's why it gets scratched so i'm okay with it the corners i'm going to show you the one problem i saw which i think i might bring it in i gotta bring in another one for the same issue and i'm going to show you that and another bag um but I want to show you guys the corners first. The corners are great. Someone said in another video that they looked worn. I want to show you guys much better. I think it's just the lighting. I'm using even a ring light, I'm sure you guys can tell, to really see in there. It's not faded. It's just, I think, how the light catches it. But they look great. Not worn at all. That center seam has held up beautifully. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I think there is a difference when you're talking about a bag that is two, three years old compared to a bag that's 10 years old. So would I be worried about the Ompron? No. Do I think that the Ompron is worth it? Absolutely. The amount of comments, 
the people that are not Louis Vuitton luxury bag people and the comments that I get with the on prom bags is a totally different compliment. It's a totally different comment. And the amount of people that, like I said, aren't even luxury bag people or luxury shoppers, they're like, oh my, I love that it's the monogram. It still has the LVs, the monogram on it, which people love and wanna see. It still has that, but it's like, much more subtle. It's not so in your face. It's not everybody has it. Do I think Opron's gonna be more popular? Yes. Do I think the staple monogram is still gonna be around? Absolutely, it'll never go away. I can almost guarantee it. But I I love the, the understatedness of this because I mean, look at that. Like it's just, it's really beautiful. I could go on like a whole nother rant and I've already gone on rants today. It's wonderful. Okay, so the straps and everything, those look great. They are adjustable. They can adjust down here. And then these are the problems, okay? Now, I have another bag, which um, I wanna know if you guys want me to do that video of wanting to see the progress of me dropping off, bringing my things that need to get fixed or replaced or whatever with Louis Vuitton. If you guys want that video of knowing how it works, how my experience was, how long everything took, because I have an SLG and I have now two bags. I, I think I'm gonna just do it now because I don't wanna actually lose the item. So what I'm talking about is these loop-de-loops, right? I don't know what they're called, so we're calling them loop-de-loops. These little guys that kind of move to hold, I'm not explaining this. Okay, see how they'll, they'll move up here? So, and then they'll hold the straps together because the straps are adjustable, right? So this one, it's gonna be really hard to see. The string is coming undone. And why I think that is a problem, let me set this down, is because I have this in another bag. And don't ask me why I kept the string. I don't know, but I kept the string. <laughs> The string came completely undone, and here's the loop-de-loop. -loop. So, I'm gonna have to bring it in to get it replaced. Like the item replaced, like the, it fixed. And I don't think they're gonna replace, obviously, the whole bag, but they're going to have to fix that, okay? So, am I a little nervous? Yes, because that, I'm, like it went from zero to 60 real fast. and. For as much as I use this bag, I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and get it, get it fixed. I'm gonna probably do it sooner rather than later. If you guys want me to make that video for you guys to know, it's gonna take, it's not gonna be able to come out right away because it's gonna have to get shipped off. Like it's gonna take some time, but I can make a video of the process. I already talked to my essay. You know, would you be consider, you know, like talking to me about it and, you know, being on the camera and stuff like that? She said she'll think about it. She's a little shy. So we'll see. But um, I, I will keep you guys posted on the Instagram side for it for sure. But if you guys on the YouTube side want to see that video, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Those are ways that I know that that's stuff that you guys want to see and to keep the videos coming. And it keeps me motivated, you guys, to keep doing this because sometimes it's really hard. You guys know how it is, like mom life and kids and then like clingy dogs. My gosh, I mean, I can't do much without him here. So that's something that you guys would like to see. I would really appreciate a thumbs up. Then I kind of know you wanna see it. But if you have any questions, if there's something I missed, definitely let me know in the comments below. This, he needs a lot of attention. Let me know in the comments below um, and I'd be happy to answer them for you. Also follow me on Instagram, Lux and Life Genie, same thing, I'm more on the Instagram side. And two, if you guys have checked out my Disney Genie channel, give it a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know, cause I can't see everyone that is like switched over there. Let me know, you know, give me like a high emoji, like a waving emoji if you guys are over on that channel. But I appreciate your guys' time today. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, drop it down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.